Just get your Tesla. Need some go-to Tesla accessories, but you don't want to break the bank? I've had my Tesla for over two years now and I've logged over 50,000 miles. And because I'm a content creator, I get sent a ton of Tesla accessories. But which one do I use in my everyday life? Well, stick around to find out. What is up guys? It's Chris with Everyday Chris and welcome back to my channel. The number one place for Tesla, tech, and everyday life. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and as always, like the video if you love Tesla accessories. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys the top 10 Tesla Model 3 and Model Y accessories that I use in my car every day. So let's start with number one, floor mats. There are a lot of floor mat companies out there. However, my two favorite has to be Tasmanian and 3D Max Pider. So if you're even considering owning a Tesla, the first thing you need to get is floor mats. The Tesla comes with carpet floor mats, but you wanna make sure you keep the interior as clean as possible. So I highly recommend floor mats. I have a dedicated video on my favorite floor mats. So you can go ahead and check that out where I do detailed testing. However, I love the Tasmanian one for the tub style design. So it's great at capturing tons of debris, dirt, mud, and snow. However, if you really want a clean, minimalistic look that goes with the Tesla interior, I highly recommend the 3D Max Pider. On the back of the 3D Max Pider floor mats, it has this patented design where it prevents it from slipping. It looks super clean, minimalistic, and both of these floor mats cover any area of your car, even the back part of the back seats. Overall, depending on my mood, I'll either go with Tasmanian or 3D Max Pider. However, I've had both of these floor mats now for two years and I can't go back. If you guys are considering the floor mats, feel free to use my promo code for a discount. One accessory I can't live without is my cell phone holder and cell phone charger. So we all know about the wireless charging at the bottom with your Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, and it works well. However, I wish it was angled higher because you can't see the screen when you're driving. And it's really important for me, especially when I'm on road trips, because I got my Waze and my Google Maps open. So I had to figure out a way where I can mount my cell phone and charge it. My go-to mounts that I've been recommending to all my friends and family is Joao, Macback, Tmai and Spigen. One of my favorite chargers is the Joao charger because it hides away and you can use it when you need it. You could also adjust it however you want. Another great one is by Magback. They made the exterior the same silver color as the screen, so it has a legit OEM look to it. It sticks on with double-sided tape and it charges very well and you can mount your cell phone any way you want. TMI is another good one as it mounts to your vent in the dashboard. However, you will require a cable to charge the phone. One of the newest cell phone mounts I got to try out is by Spigen. I like it because it's super high quality. It sticks with double-sided tape. I like how these pieces kind of hold it on the screen. And with this one, you can also unlock it and you can move the position as well. So you can move it up here if you wanted to, you can move it down here any which way you want to. They also have this suction cup one, which I really like. You can stick it onto your dashboard, you can stick it on any part of the screen. But very simple, you can just find a place where you want it. So if I want it here, stucks onto there. And then you can adjust this, you can fold it down away so it's hiding as well. I do wish the USB cable was longer so I could route it into the back USB-C ports. However, this works just fine, it looks great. And then when you're done with it, same thing with Joel. You could just hide it away and it just leaves that super clean interior. The next thing I can't live without is my radar detector. No, I'm not a speed demon, but there have been so many times where I'm trying to accelerate onto the freeway and I end up going super fast, like 80, 85 miles per hour without even realizing it. The unit has been one of the top performers in performance as well as range. And while it is a little bit more expensive, it's honestly the price of one speeding ticket plus traffic school and an increase in your insurance. So for me, I think it's totally worth it. Again, take what I say with a grain of salt. It's not always gonna work. And number two, a lot of police officers use laser now. So a radar detector is essentially useless. Also, you wanna check with local state laws to see if a radar detector is legal where you live. I love my radar detector so much, I ended up getting one for my Model X Stormbreaker. And the one thing all Teslas need to do is charge. You can easily charge at a supercharger, a Tesla destination charger, 
anything that's compatible with the Tesla. However, we also have this bad boy. It's a J1772 adapter to a Tesla adapter. That way you can charge at third party stations like ChargePoint, or if you're charging at a mall, you could do that as well. However, the thing with that is this piece will lock into your car. However, the actual charging cable will not lock into your car. So if a Karen walks by and says, I don't like it that Tesla's charging, I wanna charge my car instead, they can easily remove the charging plug, no problem. That's why I got this thing from Amazon. It's a J1772 adapter plug, and it plugs into your J1772 adapter, as well as the charging cable. So essentially, it'll kinda of look something like this, where you plug this into here, and then the charging cable lock locks into here. So the next time someone tries to remove the charging plug, they won't be able to do it because this lock is in place, making it so you can keep charging your Tesla. Now with all Teslas, you get two key cards and that's all great and all. However, if you don't have a wallet or if you just don't wanna carry on a key card, one thing that I love and it's a must for me now is my Kanique ring or my Kanique bracelet. I know it seems sponsored and all that, but I honestly really love it because there have been so many times where I'm trying to do something, move the car real quickly, or if the car doesn't detect my phone and it doesn't unlock, I can easily just put my finger or my wrist up to the sensor outside to open the door and start the car. The ring looks sexy and they have it in a ceramic and wood look, but if you know you're gonna be putting your ring through hell like at the gym, get the ceramic version so it won't get all jacked up. So one thing people have been telling me is it's not working all the time. One thing to note is you don't want your phone or Bluetooth to be on or nearby because sometimes it won't work. Also when starting the car and opening the door, some people think they have to put their palm against the glass. However, you wanna put your knuckle against it and it creates a better contact with the sensor. All right, one thing that Tesla for some reason doesn't think you need in your car is storage options. You get a giant hole in the middle and a small abyss in the center armrest. But again, we need some sort of organization. I've been loving my Wow center console storage trays. It's been working great for me. It holds everything I need. However, another great option is by Spigen. I like how it's a little bit smaller so it fits in perfectly, slides and gives you plenty of space. It has silicone at the bottom so it's nice and grippy. It has a very subtle, and I mean very subtle, and that's what I love. Carbon fiber look to it. The tiny Spigen logo, very subtle, very clean. Fits perfectly and it just matches so well in the Tesla interior. Another thing we use all the time is our under seat storage trays. I've tried Tasmanians, T-Mice, and Spigen, and all are a great option. However, I really have to hand it to Spigen. They made one beautiful. It's so sturdy, I mean, this thing is not bending anywhere, but it fits under the seat like a glove and it kind of hovers over the seat and it's a perfect fit. If you want to hide your purse or something, you can easily just grab it here, grab what you need to do and then be on your way. Unfortunately, like with any undersea storage trays, you need really low profile floor mats. So 3D Max Pider as well as Tasmanian will not be compatible. However, if you're looking for the most space, Speakins is really nice. Now, if you don't have dogs and you have kids or people in the back constantly, one thing that's really cool is having some sort of storage options for the people in the back. Tasmanian makes a great storage tray option where it fits underneath the air vents, but Spigen also makes one as well. What I love about Spigen is it's held in with all this Velcro on the back as well as on the top here. So the pieces actually goes right into the middle area where the vents are. Now, speaking of hidden stuff, one thing we keep in our car at all times is spare cash and maybe other personal items. However, we don't wanna keep it in the center console because there's nowhere to hide it. And the first thing people look when they break into a car is the center console. Also, if you're taking it for service or car wash or something, people always like to look in there just to see if there's anything to take. Now, one thing I love, and I used another company before, however, I accidentally pushed it too hard and I broke the lid. So I was looking for another option where I could hide my cash in a special secret compartment that Tessa, for some reason, doesn't want to put a lid on. You could see it right here. Like, it's this huge space. So Spigen sent me theirs as a replacement. I love it already because the design is completely different. In order to open the lid, instead of sliding down, you have to push it and it opens up beautifully. It's actually made with springs and screws. The quality is amazing. I say push, go up from the top first, push it in and slide it in all the way. And then just push it in as far as it will go. That's what she said. And then you push this lid, opens that secret compartment so you could put like your credit cards or ID or anything you wanna hide 
from people. And then no one's gonna bother to even check because when they open stuff, they're gonna look through here, not up here. And this looks beautiful. Another must have item, especially if you have pets, is a dog seat cover. Now I got one on Amazon, that works fine. However, I really like the Tasmanian one. It really reminds me of the Tesla one. It offers great protection, offers a whole window screen for ventilation, and it just kind of fits super nicely in the Tesla Model Y. It has something where you could put dog leashes or something, and you can protect the sides more by using the coat hooks. Overall, something I use all the time and we love it. So as you can see, we have a Uber turbine wheel that has tons of curb rash. I mean, it has the red paint from a fire lane. This was before we had the rim guards on here. So I removed the old ones. We're gonna go ahead and install it onto this one. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install and how you can't even tell the difference. Because when you first get it, you think, hey, this is black and this is like a gray color. It's gonna look horrible. However, as you saw with the previous one, you can barely even tell that it's there because it just kind of blends in. Let's get started. You want to always make sure you have a clean wheel. They do give you alcohol towels to use. Now we got our PPF strips here. So the first strip is a really long strip and it goes on this part here. So it's going over the damaged rims as well. So after you do this part, then you have to do the middle area. You just have to put it onto here. Same idea. There are these little knot, uh, tabs and that kind of folds over. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's not gonna look the best, but don't worry, you're gonna be covering it anyways. Okay, so now we got this part on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to these plastic pieces. As you can see, there are clips on the bottom and clips on the top. If you do not clip them in completely, they will fall off. I suggest making sure that the bottom clips are clipped onto the rim first. They do provide you with 3M very high bond double-sided tape, which also helps. They always want you also to start off with the tire valve stem cover, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Use the tire as leverage, and then you just push in like that. So if you're ever having trouble installing these, like your fingers hurt, leave it on the sun for like an hour. It makes it much softer. So it does say to go counterclockwise in the manual. Sometimes it's a little tricky, so just take your time. The key is it clips at the bottom and you're just pulling it up and over. So look at this, we're just covering all of this curb brush. Once you get to the end, you have this piece here. So all you gotta do is get your trim tool, slightly lift it up and then put it in there and it just snaps in. And then here you can really see the curb brush. It's so noticeable. So here's my friend's car with the Uber turbines. That's how it looks. Can you guys tell the difference? Now the beauty with these rim guards is if you damage one wheel and it looks horrible, you can easily get a replacement set just for one set of wheels. Overall for $299 is almost the same price as getting your wheels repaired. And this just saves a lot of peace of mind. It covers the whole area. It's also raised a little bit, so it protects it even further. Now I can talk for hours on why I think exterior paint protection film is necessary for your car to prevent things like rock chips and scratches. However, one thing I think is necessary and it looks really cool is mud flaps. Tesla sells them on the store, but it only comes with the front two. However, you can get nice ones from Bay Store on Amazon or even Tasmanian. It's not a guaranteed solution to help prevent rock chips from hitting your paint, but it does help. Tesla even sells a do-it-yourself paint protection kit for that rocker panel in the back to prevent rock chips. Nobody likes a horrible bumper full of rock chips, so consider some sort of paint protection for at least the front bumper of your Tesla. <music> Lastly, another must-have accessory is any emergency items like Tesla jack pads or hockey pucks or even a tire plug kit. We got a flat tire on a road trip and the tire plug kit came in handy as well as the air compressor. Tesla's is always out of stock so I've been using this one. The battery lasts forever too. We also had to charge our Tesla far away from the outlet so our extension cord came in handy. Just make sure you get the right one with a higher amp. Again, I'll make sure to link everything in the description below. Also, of course, having your Tesla wall charger with the NEMA 1450 outlet is important as well. So there you have it. Those are the accessories I honestly can't live without. There are a few honorary mentions that I still think is necessary, but not needed. Now, it's not like your phone where you're potentially gonna drop it and crack the screen. However, just today alone, I've hit the screen like 10 times with my gimbal and I didn't even think I would be hitting the screen ever. Honestly, never know what's gonna happen if you carry a long pole or if your dog jumps up and scratches it or something happens. It's way easier to have a screen protector 
to protect the screen as well as decrease glare and reflections instead of paying tons of money to get a whole entire screen replacement. Now with dogs and gym clothes, the interior of your Tesla can smell musty, dusty, rusty. There are no air vents in the Tesla Model Y unless you're talking about the rear air vents. So I wanted a nice clean look. While it's not the cheapest, I've been using Drift for a while now and I love it. They have new scents every month. They get sent to your door. It comes in wood or this one. I love the stone one as it looks beautiful. However, if you guys are balling on a budget, one thing that I love is the Costco Febreze car air fresheners and it always goes on sale. However, like I said before, there are no physical air vents that I can clip it onto. So Spigen must have read my mind. So I got these bad boys. It comes with a pack of two if you wanted to place two of them. So they do recommend mounting it on either side of the screen. I guess that's where the best airflow is. What's cool about this is it actually has holes to help improve the airflow to push the air freshener out. So you can stick it onto here. It pushes onto this piece here. Then all you gotta do is take your Febreze air freshener and then you just clip it onto that spot. And then that's it. Done. Now one thing that really ups the game of your Tesla Model Y is performance pedals. Now if you have the standard range or the long range Tesla Model Y, you get some nasty looking pedals to use. I actually switched mine to some aftermarket ones, but again, I wanted something to look a little bit sexier. Another thing also, if you didn't know, is those bad boys are insanely tough to install. The best way to install those is you have to leave it out in the sun for a few hours so it softens up, but still you have to peel it over this metal piece and you get like the rawest fingers ever. So you could see how shocked and excited I was when Spigen sent me their performance pedals and you don't have to get raw fingers, you just screw it in, which is insane. So now we're gonna go ahead and install these bad boys. So the hardest part of these pedals is actually removing the old one because it's stuck in so well and it really just peels over. There we go. So it kind of peels over this metal piece here. So these are the new ones. Ooh, it looks sexy already. I'm gonna go and peel this off. Ooh, this goes here. Oh, it's a tight fit. Oh yeah. Get in there, baby. Oh, no glove, no love. Looks good, and then we just have to screw it in. One last thing I love, especially if you're in warmer climates, is my heat shield sunshade. I've had heat shield for over 10 years on my first car. Still worked amazing. What I love about it is it fits the windshield so well, and it really helps protect your dashboard from cracking, from UV damage, from the sun. I have it in my Model Y. I also have it in my Model X. If you ever go camping, Heat Shield has protection for your entire windows. So it's literally 100% privacy. So again, I just wanna thank Spigen for sponsoring this video. As you know, I've gotten Spigen even before I was a YouTuber. I really like the quality of the materials. The screen protector on the Model Y is amazing as well as super easy to install. So you can see how glad and happy I was when they got into some Tesla accessories. All the Tesla accessories they have are made of high quality materials. Nothing feels cheap. And especially for those of you guys who use the Tesla mobile charging kit as your home charger, Spigen also has the Spigen wall charger holder that also attaches to the wall and keeps everything super tidy and clean. From their cup holders to their organization trays, they have something for everything and they're just getting started. I know that they're coming up with more stuff. And if there are issues, they're more than willing to take care of it. So if you guys are considering their products, make sure to check them out. I'll make sure I link everything in the description below. So what do you guys think of those accessories? Any accessories that I missed? What are your go-to accessories that you can't live without? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.